everybody, this is Ostuni, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We got magic power last time, so we are going to shoot this motherfucker. Come on, and... Oh, that's right. If you hold it down for too long, it'll explode. All right. Oh, we gotta do this. I don't want to do this. I really don't. Are you the one who just popped that there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think that you're getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass by test first. Are you ready? Let's see, what's going to be a voice for the bombers? Alright, line up guys. Perfect. If you find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? All right, so let's see. We're gonna hide all over the dang old place. Some of them are gonna be hiding in plain sight. There's one. Got one. Okay, four left. I could have sworn that there's two that's gonna be here. Yeah, I hear them. Something that's actually kind of interesting is if you guys, um, if you guys are like me and watch, um, videos about unused content and stuff like that in certain Zelda games, um, oh shit, I trapped him into a corner. <laughs> oh shit. You won't. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shit. It. Okay, let's see if I can circle around and get you. Uh, this controller is doing me no favors, everybody. If I had to make a recommendation and you're gonna play emulator games, or not emulator games. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Oh, gotcha. All right, only three left. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything about that particular person yet. Although, not really. I mean, we can't. We can do something about it, but as as much of a tick as it makes me sound, it's not going to reward us for doing so. So we're just going to wait, and we're going to do that whenever we fix our current dilemma. Oh, this is the first time that we've been to this side of town. Okay, West Clock Tower. Okay, let's get you. Go get you. Yes. Okay, two left. And I think there's one in central, and then there's one on the opposite end of town from this one. Oh, yeah. You. I gotta remember to put fucking rupees in your thing. Now, I know I said in the last episode that I probably wouldn't do a full play through this. I would most likely be getting all the masks, but not to say that I'm not going to do a few non-mask related sub-quests. Um, in particular, I'm probably going to wind up doing the, um, the side quest that gets you the um, most powerful version of the sword in the game. I think it's the Gilded Sword. Okay, let's go ahead and get you. I'm coming to get you! I'm going to get you! Oh shit. I didn't mean to! Ah! Oh, you dick! You monster! Yes! Okay, now there's only one left, and I think I know where that one is. Let's see. And pop up. He's up here. I'm gonna get you! There's nowhere you can run! Yes! That actually wasn't as infuriating as I remember it. Let's see. You're pretty good for it. Or wait a minute. What was the voice I did again? Alright. If only you were human, then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. Well, I have to remember that next time. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! Uh, how we forget. Majora's Mask setting uh, lingo for the future. I guess not. 
Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever forget it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code just like I promised, so I can tell you this only once, though. So pay close attention. Are you ready? Um, just about. Let's see. Where's Pen? Where's Pen? Uh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. And this code doesn't change between days, so if you need to do it again, just remember it. And it, and it actually will save you a little bit of time later, because once we fix our problem that we have here, um, we can just give the code again, and we'll get that bomber's notebook without having to go through all this again. At least I think that's how it works, don't? Don't quote me on that quite yet, because I may be wrong, but we will probably figure out by the end of this episode. Let's see, though. Was it... No, it's not that one. Is it this one? Is it this one? Um, let's go down to this one, just for right now. Uh-oh. The cat wants out. I can't let the cat out right now. Because I'm in the middle... I'm in the middle of something, can I? Boot, you can come over here if you want. Boot, don't be sad. You can come. You can come over here and be on camera. Let's see. Boot, stop being so sad. You got a big old scratch on your neck. You can't be outside anyway. Shit. Stop it. Okay. Let's see. You want to pass through here and you have to say the secret code. <laughs> That's why I imagine that one in particular sounds like. Let's see. Four, two, three, one, five. Oh, um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay, here you go. I'm actually not a kid. I'm a midget. There's <laughs> a lot of cool stuff down in there. Oh, yeah, and um, the secret bomber society justice forever. All that, all that jazz. All right, so. Let's see how this goes. I think this is gonna be the first place where we can actually fight an enemy. So let's see how it goes. Yep. All right, do, 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 do. Come on. Yeah! Fuck you, bruh. Alright. Whatever, Tattle, I'm doing just fine. I don't need advice and shit. There we go. Still don't get how he has all these balloons everywhere. Or that's just like his magic power. Because I guess he is kind of like mischief incarnate if you wanted to call him anything. Oh, yeah! I'm going to explain how this dude will actually help you guys if you guys are new to this game. So, but before we do that, it's time to advance the plot. A lot of this is probably going to be out of context because I haven't interacted with a certain person yet. Oh god, the camera. It's in such a bad spot. Well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the... <coughs> Bar Bomber's gang, hmm, your manners seem to be much better than those of your mischievous <laughs> friends from the other day. <coughs> that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. God, this is the thug, isn't he? He said he'd steal my moon tear. That's, that's slang for crack. <laughs> there was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze until my telescope? There's a couple of things you can see in this, um, in the telescope too, but there's only one primary thing. Well, there's one thing. I don't under... Okay. There's a... There's a red rupee. Um... Oh god, the controls are inverted. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to that because if... There's one thing I've learned in gaming is that, like, if you change a control that you think will actually make it better, if you do it 
like your mind will still be trained to use it that certain way and you're just like well shit now i can't retrain my brain to use it the way that i actually wanted to use it it's really weird or maybe that's just me let's see all right so that moon tear just fell down well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon tear has fallen nearby. Go through the door and take a look outside. You better give me that shit because I need another hit. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on the roof of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door and that only opens on the eve of the carnival. Well, he's probably got magic powers. Probably the same magic powers that turned me into a scrub. But, we got it! Moon's Tear! Sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Alright. Did you find that crack? Nope. Sure didn't. Just gonna go. You sure you didn't? It sounded like something really loud was out there. No, I'm good. I'm good. It's good. I didn't find anything. Then he, like, looks out there and sees that little crazy. He's like, son of a bitch! I knew that fucking Deku was up to no good. Can't trust Dekus. And that's Zelda racism. Yay! Alright, so. Do. And. Let's see. Let's go back up through here! Don't know why, but I feel a little bit more energetic today. I think I mentioned like it a little bit in a earlier video. I can't remember what series though. Um, ooh, is this about to be the second day already? Oh, then that means that the um, the song of um, reverse time does really help you because I remember the days being longer, but that's always because I had the reverse time song active okay so that moon tier for you new players out there you need to go here wait wait hang on this is my private property don't try using it when I'm not around Okay, so now we gotta assign that to a slot, so I've already sold out of my wares and I'm and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called a moon's tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to take it from you. My, my, my wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included. So, I'm gonna do that. There you go. Ah, that stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku Flower included, yes? And we got the land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or anything... S s or... S uh, on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. You, so basically that's his way of telling you, I'm very cheap and I don't like getting my wife things. And goddamn that camera. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs. But you already knew that. If you don't need it anymore, you can only sell it. All right. And that's another big old side quest too, like a big chain of these. Cause there's one in like, I think every um, corner of the map, north, south, east, and west. And I think they all lead to a heart container or a heart piece, I should say, because this is, remember, this ain't Breath of the Wild. You don't get heart containers um, straight up anymore. You gotta get heart pieces and then you gotta get it. But, I'm gonna do something before I do the obvious of fast forwarding time to the final evening. Um, I think I might be able to get a heart container. Okay, I need to wait here a little bit before I can actually go in, apparently. Do you remember the code? It's 
That's actually really cool. I didn't know if you asked them, like, they would give you the code again. I thought they were just little shits and they would just be all like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking weird D Deku bitch. Let's see, that's right. We can't do anything there yet because we're still a Deku. There's a lot of masks that we can get now that I think about it, um, whenever we become human. And we can just get them all, like, in town. I'll probably do, like, an episode where I gather up everything, like, get everything that you could possibly get just from becoming a human again. And then I'll probably set out and actually do the dungeons and stuff. Okay, so now it's 9 a.m. Time just got away from me for a second. Okay. But I think we might be able to get a heart piece. Let's see. Because if we go in here... Okay, it should be this one. Where is he? It's weird. Now... Now, for people playing this game for the first time, this is gonna sound really weird. But hear me out. There's a hand that comes up out of the toilet. And that's a toilet, by the way. In case you couldn't tell, obviously. But there's a hand that's supposed to come out of there. And he's like, oh, I need paper. I need paper to wipe my ass with. Or something like that. And you can give him one of those deeds. And you'll get a heart piece for it, I'm pretty sure. But in the process, that basically breaks the um, deed um, side quest that you can do with that um, with the bigger Deku scrub. So basically, you want to do that and then reset to the first day and then start the whole Deku thing over again. But then again, there's no point in doing the Deku one after this until you can go to each area comfortably. Like, go to all four corners. Like, easily. But... I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of you new players out there how to advance time at this point in the game. It's pretty easy. And um, this is the second spot where the scarecrow is. You guys saw the first one inside of the laboratory. So let's see. Yo, hey, baby, I'm a stout scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance until night. Shall we dance? Yes, we shall. Oh, yeah, in that case, forget the time. Let's dance. Dun, 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 dun. Get the crock in here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm having fun today. Having fun. Let's see, 36 hours remaining. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. Me too! If you like, baby, we can forget it and dance until dawn. Shall we dance? Yes, we shall. Alright. Can't skip this. We can't skip this. No, we can't. Gotta watch this a fucking game. Okay, Donna, the final day. We can do it one more time. Then we have to wait. Oh yeah, how was how was it? It went by an instant, right? Still full of energy. We like, baby, we can dance till night. Should we dance? Yes. Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do No movements. I wish that this was like a move that you could actually do in the club. Because I totally go to those. Call this one the Zelda Scarecrow. <laughs> See, oh yeah, how was it? Time went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. But outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Um, no. I'll teach people. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, see you later. He's got the right idea, but he's now in fucking mud. I didn't mean to press that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. 
All right, so we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit to actually start this off, but um, I think we'll actually cut the episode um, here because it's been about 20 minutes. And so, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to know when the next episode is coming out. Next episode, we will be venturing into the clock tower to fix our current dilemma and question of the day. For those of you who have played both Majora's Mask, the original, and Majora's Mask 3D, the remake, 3DS, all that, out of the two, which do you prefer and why? I'm kind of curious as to the why. Like, on both sides, too. Like, I have an idea on why some people would prefer one to the other, but I'd like to confirm some of those theories. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Tony signing off. Moon's about to crash into the Earth. Grrr.